I talked to him. I heard about it last night. I uh, talked to him this morning. Uh, I, talk, I had to have, talked to him on the plane, too, a little bit, but that was about other things and things about the game. And then, uh, you know, I just talked to these guys. We talk a lot. We, we talk a lot about football. But we also talk a little bit about that stuff, too, you know, what goes on in terms of the media and everything. And, and really, you know, it's, it just beg guys not to, you know, not to get into the Twitter world right after the game, especially after a loss. It's never going to be positive. It's not going to be a nice place, you know. And uh, I think that's kind of reflected in, in Lamar's response because what he said was just so out of character for him. That's not the way he speaks. It's not the way he talks. It's not the words he ever uses. I've never heard him say things like that before. But like we talk, like you said, Bo, he wants to win. You know, I'm sure he's frustrated, just like we all are. And uh, that's just a place you just don't want to live right after a game. And, uh, you know, I know he understands that. Uh, he, Lamar Jackson, you know, you've been around him. He's got one of the biggest hearts of anybody I know. You, you all have seen him, the way he treats people, the way he treats kids, the way he treats the media, you know. And, uh, and he's also one of the biggest competitors I've ever met. So those kind of conversations, he takes very seriously, you know. So you get trapped sometimes by someone that's baiting you just a little bit, and you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't live there. It's not important. You know, I see you shaking your head, Luke. You're right. And that's, that's something I love about him. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think that's not a place he wants to be, and that's certainly not things that he wants to say.